Well, the pituitary gland is sometimes called the master gland in the body, and that's because it exerts influence over so many other glands in the endocrine system. So this is the gland that we're going to be starting with um, as we survey the, the major glands of the endocrine system. We've seen the pituitary gland before when we were in the brain, when we were talking about the forebrain um, and the, the diencephalon, we said that there's the thalamus, the hypothalamus, and then the pituitary gland kind of hangs off on the underside of the brain. And um, the, hypo, the hypothalamus exerts control over the pituitary gland. We'll be seeing that a little bit later, but its close proximity is really helpful in allowing that to happen. The pituitary gland has two different lobes. It has an anterior section and a posterior section. Anterior meaning um, on the side that's cl closer to the face, and then posterior, posterior is facing like the back of the brain. Um, so two different lobes, and they are derived from different types of embryonic tissues. Um, so one of them, one of the uh, lobes of the pituitary gland is actually epithelial tissue, from, derived from epithelial tissue, and the other is from neural tissue. So they are quite, uh, you, quite different from each other in that regard, um, but in the adult brain they end up being fused together, and so we refer to them as, as sort of one unit, the pituitary gland. Okay, so uh, let's start with the anterior pituitary. Uh, so the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland, that's this portion right here. And this is the portion that's made from um, epithelial tissue and it's glandular. So it is truly um, secreting like a, like a gland. It's in the, the endocrine system. Um, and it's secreting hormones that will go out into the bloodstream and influence a lot of different target organs throughout the body. So the anterior pituitary, the hormones that it produces are referred to as trophic hormones, and um, the word trophic means to feed. And what these hormones do, if they're present in high concentrations throughout the body, uh, what they'll cause is for their target organs to grow, to hypertrophy. If these hormones are present in not very high concentrations, so if they're present in low concentrations, um, then conversely the target organs will start to atrophy. And so just collectively these are referred to as trophic hormones, it's just kind of a convenient way to refer, refer to them. And what we are going to do is walk through five of the major hormones that the anterior pituitary secretes. So they are listed out in this figure here, and we'll go through them one by one. So again, coming from the anterior pituitary hormones that this um, lobe of the pituitary secretes. First one is prolactin. Prolactin, we will abbreviate PRL. Prolactin is a hormone um, that circulates through the body and its target cells are in the mammary glands. And this is the hormone that's needed to stimulate milk production in the mammary glands. Uh, number two, we've got growth hormone. Growth hormone targets a lot of different places throughout the body. In general, it promotes the uptake of amino acids and subsequent protein synthesis with those amino acids. And so it's just, it's a very good hormone for facilitating overall growth. Um, in kids, this is the, the hormone, one of the hormones that's causing them to grow taller over time. Um, eventually the bones, the epiphyseal plates on the bones fuse together and um, then further growth in terms of tallness uh, stops. That's not possible to, to just keep growing forever because those plates fuse. Um, but the growth hormones still are present in adults and they cause other changes like certain features start to change and um, I don't know, facial, facial appearances change over time as we get older. That's in part due to growth hormone. Next up, we've got thyroid stimulating hormone. This is a hormone that influences what the thyroid is doing. Um, the thyroid is a gland that's in your neck and it secretes um, thyroid hormones T3 and T4. We've seen these already when we were talking about non-polar hormones, how they can cross the plasma membrane and activate um, gene transcription inside of the cell. Um, so anyway, thyroid stimulating hormone is what causes T3 and T4 to be released from the thyroid. So again, this is coming from the pituitary gland and it causes these other hormones to be released. Next, Adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH. This one we will be focused in on um, in, in the next section. This is a hormone that influences the adrenal cortex. Um, the adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys and they're, they're 
they do a lot of different things, but one of the things that they do is secrete cortisol, which is our stress hormone. This is a very important, um, a very important hormone just in sort of mediating the, the response that we have to stressful situations. And then lastly, we have gonadotropic hormones, um, which are present in both males and females, follicle stimulating hormone. Um, what this does is promotes gamete formation in both the ovaries and the testes. And then the last one here on the list, luteinizing hormone. Um, this one also targets the gonads, but this one is just facilitating the secretion of, of sex hormones. So not gamete production specifically, but just sex hormones in general.